हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू केनीज एडुकेयर अ ग्रुप ऑफ केनी सोल्यूशंस दिस इज पार्ट वन ऑफ लेसन नंबर थर्टीन वाई डू वी फॉल एल ना वॉट डू यू थिंक वाई डू वी फॉल एल आप सब बीमार होते हो ना एट सम और दी अदर टाइम वी आर एल एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू फोकस ऑन आर स्टडीज वी आर नॉट एबल टू अटेंड स्कूल वी आर नॉट एबल टू अटेंड सम फंक्शंस एज वेल राइट बट हैव यू एवर थाट वाई डू वी फॉल एल वॉट इज द रीजन बिहाइंड फॉलोइंग एल सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेसन देर इज़ वन एक्टिविटी विच इज़ बिन गिवन टू यू ऑल एंड आई वुड लाइक टू लव दैट लाइक आई वुड लव टू गो विद दैट एक्टिविटी सो सी वॉट एक्टिविटी दे हैव गिवन एज we have all heard of earthquake which has taken place in uh, bhuj and kashmir and there are many other states where earthquake takes place right earthquake is a natural you can say natural kind of disaster which takes place and it it's like a uh, it's not surprising if earthquake occurs in any of the state but it has a great damage to that particular state wherever that earthquake has occurred right so we have heard about the earthquake occurring in bhuj kashmir then the cyclones that are lashing the coastal regions right so can you think of many different ways as possible in which the people's health are being affected by such a kind of disaster that is taking place in our neighborhood if there is an earthquake see whenever any kind of natural disaster takes place be it earthquake be it cyclone or be it any kind of natural disaster you know this disasters are going to have an serious health effect in the neighboring cities can states as well why because the chances of infection spreading the infection increases a lot when there is a natural disaster which occurs okay so now just think on ki how people health people's health is going to get affected because of this disaster which took place and how many of this ways can we think of that these are the events that will occur when the disaster is actu- actually happening what do you think what are the different different ways now suppose uh, a disaster has occurred a natural disaster has taken place okay now what happens if it is a natural disaster it has been associated with uh, you can say water okay baad aa gayi hai aapne aisa suna hoga na so when it comes to this case so with the water we all know there are two types of diseases which occur one is communicable disease that spreads from one infected individual to another healthy individual and the other type is non communicable disease so i'll just write it for you so that you can take a note of it because you should be aware of this two types of diseases okay so let me just write it for you all on the screen so the first type of disease that occurs is diseases are of two kind okay एक होता है कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज एक होता है नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज ओके सो नाउ आई विल बी टेलिंग यू व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज so see when the disease spreads from disease or it can be infection as well okay spreads from one in fact infected individual to other healthy individual
then it is called communicable disease okay and non communicable disease now here you can write communicable disease ka example as cough cold and cough okay and when it comes to non communicable disease let me write when the infection or the disease doesn't spread from in from one infected individual to other healthy individual then it is called as non communicable disease okay and the example of this non communicable disease is nothing but you can take the example of cancer now cancer doesn't spread from one individual to another right so cancer becomes non communicable disease because it doesn't spread from infected individual to the other just by touching or being in touch right and this is communicable disease so before starting with the lesson according to me you should know the difference between communicable and non communicable disease and that is the reason i have given you the def definition and the example so see whenever any disaster is taking place be it a cyclone be it a you can say cyclone ho ya to fir uh, earthquake ho any any of the natural disaster सो अभी एज आई टोल्ड यू अगर कहीं पे बाढ़ आ रही है फ्लड आया हुआ है सो देयर व्हाट हैपेंस वाटर जो है दैट इज गोइंग टू फ्लो फ्रॉम वन पार्ट टू द अदर पार्ट एंड इट ट्रैवल सो फार सो चांसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज दैट इज द डिजीज विच स्प्रेड्स फ्रॉम वन इन्फेक्टेड इंडिविजुअल नाउ सपोज दैट इंडिविजुअल इज इन्फेक्टेड बाई सर्टन डिजीज एंड दैट डिजीज स्प्रेड्स थ्रू द स्पिट नाउ वॉट हैपन्स वेन देर इज अ फ्लड दैट इंडिविजुअल अब यह ऑब्वियसली बात है अगर आप पानी में जाओगे तो आपके मुँह आपके माउथ से वॉटर इज गोइंग टू कम आउट राइट इट इज गोइंग टू गो एन एंड कम आउट दिस इज गोइंग टू ऑब्वियसली गोइंग टू हैपन राइट सो ड्यूरिंग सच केस वॉट हैपन्स द स्पिट गेट्स मिक्सड इन द वॉटर एंड दिस इज हाउ थ्रू द वॉटर यू विल सी दैट द इन्फेक्शन इज गोइंग टू स्प्रेड नाउ ओके सो वेन एवर नाउ गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर दे आर मोस्टली डीलिंग विद दिस वेन एवर एनी काइंड ऑफ डिजास्टर अकर you know you know that there are sort of there is a certain team which comes up right and they are, they prevent or uh, they protect us right they protect this uh, you can say they protect the people from this uh, diseases and everything okay so government are very much uh, you can say they become very much aware because they know that after this disaster it is going to take a lot of time to again rebuild the things to again have the same thing to bring it back to the normal it, go, it is going to take years as well as the infection the chances of increasing the infection it also increases there a lot right so how many of this health related events it will happen long after the actual disaster but will still be because of the disaster what do you think there will be many kind of uh, you can say diseases which can occur uh, after this disaster okay and what do you think why would one effect on health 
uh, fall into the first group and why will another they fall into the second group now you know immunity what is immunity the power to fight against disease the power to be resistant against disease that is what immunity is and all of our immunity is not the same some people might be having a good immunity some people might, might not be having good immunity so what happens the person whose immunity the power of resistance to diseases if that is weak then that person is going to catch the infections very quickly okay but if my immunity is strong if my power to uh, like power to fight against the diseases if that is strong what happens in such case in such case you will find it out that since my immunity is strong there will be i will be able to fight against that small small infections because when any foreign particle means the bacteria or the virus which is not good for my body that enters you can say when such kind of thing enters my body my cells you know na our body is fully made up of cell and when a group of cell having the same function when they come together what do they form they form the tissue when a group of tissue having the same structure and the function they come together they form the organ when a group of organ come together to perform a particular function they form the organ system and this is how we human beings have been formed right so mere body ke andar jo cells hain they are going to fight against those harmful bacteria and viruses and that is why i'm not going to get that disease because my immunity is good but if my immunity is not good if my cells are weak then the foreign cell that is the foreign bacteria or the virus they are going to enter uh, in enter in my body and they are going to make me ill and that is why we have to make our immunity very strong our immunity should be very 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 strong okay why it should be strong so that we can fight against diseases okay so tell me when do we do this exercise and we realize that health and disease in human communities they are a very complex issue with many interconnected causes now what happens you see that in your area the number of mosquitoes have increased a lot okay and if the number of mosquito is increasing there will be something like right which is giving rise to this number uh, to increase this number right there will be water which is being stagnant over any of the place because of which the population of the mosquito is increasing so what we need to do is we need to be aware now if you see that in your area the number of mosquitoes have increased and you know that mosquitoes ke wajah se we have malaria we have dengue which have been caused right so why to take a risk now everyone around is just keeping on saying that yaar kitne mosquitoes ho gaye hain kitne mosquitoes ho gaye hain they have just irritated us a lot but no one is coming forward and taking a step by calling the municipal corporation by writing a letter to them by mailing them no one is taking that step further so that this problem can be solved right so and you know when it comes to diseases this becomes a very complex topics with respect to human communities okay this is one of the very complex issue and this issue is interconnected like whatever causes there with this issue they are going to have an interconnected causes here and we also realize that the ideas of what health and disease means are themselves very complicated so whenever we come up with the idea of health and disease this two topic themselves they are very much complicated and when we ask what causes this disease and how we prevent them we have to begin by asking what this notions mean okay to so, abhi when we are uh, asking ourselves ki or any of them ki what is causing this malaria to occur why does malaria occurs because of the mosquito which is biting you right and what is the reason from where this mosquitoes are coming because of the stagnant water aapke area mein kahin pe pani jama ho raha hai jahan pe population increase ho raha hai mosquitoes ka because of which you you see that the mosquito ka population is increasing in your area so we have to come up with this questions ki why this is happening what is causing this disease to happen so if the number of mosquitoes are increasing 
then the number of people who are suffering from malaria and dengue in your area will be more right so we have to start asking this question to ourselves what is causing these diseases and how we can prevent them okay and when we begin to ask these questions we can take a action against it and we can come to a solution for it okay so we have seen that that the cells are the basic unit of organism why it is the basic unit of organism because when a group of cells are coming together they are making the tissue and by the cells only we human beings have been formed the multicellular organisms and is formed right and that is why we say that cells are the basic unit of organisms okay so this cells they are made up of variety of chemical substance now cells have many proteins carbohydrates fats lipids okay then it has many other things which are being present inside them so cell is a dynamic place what is cell cell is a dynamic place which is having many varieties of chemical substance within them so something or the other is always happening inside them now when we were studying the earlier lessons with respect to biology we have seen that our cell is always performing some or the other function right it is like we don't come to know but still we are breathing there is a mechanism which is going on with respect to breathing we are not aware of but circulation is taking place in our body right we are not aware of but our heart is beating beating our heart is doing its own function right so that is why we say that our cell is a dynamic place and something or the other is always taking place inside the heart not inside the heart inside the cell okay so complex reactions and repair they goes on inside the cell so hamara jo cell hai uske andar you will always see that there are some complex reactions which are taking place as well as there is a repair mechanism which is always going on inside our cell and new cells they are being made here so this is how you know hamara cell jo hai that also get damaged and uh, it get repaired agar wo repair nahi ho raha hota hai so it gets eliminated out from our body okay so new new cells are also being made in our body and in our organs or tissue there are various specialized activities which are going on hai na hamara jo tissue hai hamare jo organs hai hamare body ke andar they are performing the specialized function right without even making us aware that i am doing so much for you because if someone is doing anything for you they will uh, one or the other day they are going to come up telling this that i have done so many things for you what you have done in return but your body is never going to ask you such questions that i was beating i was working 24 by 7 i was not even taking rest you know even when you are sleeping your body is performing one or the other mechanism okay so it is always under some or the other thing ओके कोई कोई फंक्शन कुछ कुछ फंक्शंस आपका बॉडी आपके लिए कर रहा होता है यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ इट सो ऑलवेज रिस्पेक्ट योर बॉडी ओके बिकॉज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इंडिविजुअल दैट इज सपोर्टिंग यू इज नन अदर देन यू योर सेल्फ योर बॉडी इट सेल्फ ओके आपके बॉडी में सेल्स है टिश्यूज है देर आर एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ फंक्शंस स्पेशलाइज्ड फंक्शंस आर योर बॉडीज आर परफॉर्मिंग व्हेन यू गो इन योर टेन ट्वेल्थ यू डू योर ग्रेजुएशन यू विल कम टू नो व्हेन यू कीप ऑन स्टडिंग अबाउट योर बॉडी यू विल कम टू नो दैट व्हेन यू आर स्लीपिंग व्हेन यू आर वॉकिंग व्हेन यू आर जंपिंग व्हेन एवर यू आर डूइंग एनीथिंग व्हेन एवर यू आर जस्ट सिटिंग आइडली देन टू योर बॉडी इज परफॉर्मिंग फंक्शन okay so not for anyone but you should be thankful for yourself because you are doing so much if you ever get a feeling that i am not doing anything just remember you are doing a lot because surviving is one of the most important thing and for that survival whatever is been needed the adaptation has been needed you are adapting it to yourself and that is i think that is the biggest thing that we human beings are doing for ourselves okay so see as i told you that there are many organs and tissues which are performing the specialized activities right so our heart is beating the lungs are breathing the kidney is filtering our urine 
the brain is thinking and you know sometimes the all the mechanisms they are happening uh at one time hai na the heart is always beating the lungs are breathing the kidney is filtering the urine the brain is thinking so what what has been done we are having different different organs which are present in our body and we have put them on to work and uh, see what we have done is I, i have told my heart you have to beat continuously okay but you know about voluntary and involuntary actions now there are certain movements or mechanisms in our body they are going to happen only by our wish like if i want to jump i'm going to jump otherwise my body cannot make me jump like that right but can you tell me can i tell my heart stop beating i don't want to leave stop beating and stop breathing no right even if i try to stop that i won't be able to because those are voluntary movement involuntary movements which are taking place okay so these activities are being performed by our body then all these activities they are all interconnected now the activity i told you that the heart is beating the lungs are breathing the kidney is filtering the urine the brain is thinking so all these activities they are all interconnected to each other now if you have studied about the food chain you might be knowing that uh, how we human beings how the food chain has been connected to uh, one or the other animals food chain and how are we connected to each other right but when it comes to the specialized functions of our body all the activities that our body is performing they are all interconnected so if any of the function is not been uh, is not been uh, you can say performed by your body the other function will get affected so it is very important that our body is functioning properly each and every organ in our body is functioning properly for example if i take if the kidney is not filtering the urine what do you think what is going to happen i have a kidney and now my kidney is not filtering the urine because that is the most important function of the kidney to filter the urine but now what has happened due to one or the other reason my kidney is not able to uh, you can say it is not able to filter the urine so what is going to happen in during such case so during such case you will see that the poisonous substances they are going to get accumulated okay what happens if the urine is not being filtered by my kidney poisonous substance they will start accumulating inside the kidney and under such conditions the brain will not be able to think properly now kidney is not able to filter the urine because of which poisonous substances are accumulated and now because of this poisonous substances our brain will not be able to think properly so your deficiency because of the kidney not functioning properly brain's activity is also getting affected right so for all this interconnected activities energy and raw material are needed what do we need we need energy and we need raw material this both are very important things which are been needed by our body okay so for that what from where are we going to get this energy we get the energy from the food that we eat right our body requires adequate amount of carbohydrate protein lipids fats everything and that is what we call like when we eat this food when we have this nutrients within our body that gives us energy right so all the interconnected activities like what the kidney is doing what the heart is doing they are all interconnected to each other right so all this interconnected activities they need energy as well as raw material okay and food is the basic necessity for our cell as well as tissue functions right so be it any reason don't ever avoid food because that is the only thing that your body needs from you your body is only demanding food from you so that it can perform its function properly and that too why because from the food they are going to get the energy to process all the functions okay so anything that prevents the proper functioning of the cell and tissue they will lead to lack of proper activities of the body now be it anything if anything is preventing this functioning of the cells and tissue it is going to lead to a lack of proper activity if any one of the nutrient is missing or if any one of the function is being misperformed by our body then 
the activity of the body will not be performed well okay and it is in this context that we will look at the notions of the health and diseases okay so i hope that this is the activity which was been given now we are going to start with this lesson where the first topic itself that we are going to discuss here is health health and its failure okay what is the topic that we are going to discuss here is health and its failure now what do you think how the uh, why i am telling you about this health and how this health has been related to its failure so the first topic that we are going to discuss on this health and its failure is the significance of the health itself okay now see what has been given under the significance of health let me just take now we have heard the word health which has been used quite frequently right health is one of the word which is being used quite frequently whenever you're not eating your food whenever you're not uh doing proper exercise whenever you're not taking nutritious diet your mother always come up with this that your health will get affected you should eat this food you should eat nutrition nutritive food stop eating pizza stop eating burger because your health gets affected right so it is a common word that we use in our day to day life and this is most frequently used by our mom and our dad right drink this drink milk drink this beetroot juice drink this like because they they are healthy to us right so we use it ourselves as well now mama and dada are using but we use it ourselves as well right when we say things like my grandmother's health is not good right you might you might have used this word any time that your grandmother's health is not good then our teachers use it when they scold us saying this is not a healthy attitude right many of the times you might have uh, come across where your teacher might have told you and scolded you for this if you uh, are not studying well if you're not doing your homeworks on time your teacher might have scolded you for this telling that this is not a healthy attitude to have right so what do you think from this three terms that we were, that we were like the first statement which has been given that my grandmother's health is not good and this is not a healthy attitude so what do you think what does the word health means so see if we think about it that is if we think about health we realize that it is all it always implies the idea of being well okay if you are well if you are good if you're not having any issue now see you cannot call yourself healthy unless and until now if i'm not having any disease okay i'm not having any disease but i'm not healthy i can only on this criteria that i'm not having any disease i cannot call myself healthy for being healthy i should be mentally stable i should be physically stable and i should be healthy as well i should not have any disease then only i can say that i'm healthy so it also includes the state of mind if your state of mind is not good you cannot call yourself healthy you have to keep it keep this thing in your mind okay so if we think about it our uh, when our brain thinks about this word health it just realizes that or it just implies of being well okay so we can think of this being well as an effective functioning okay what can we think of we can think of this being well as an effective functioning and for our grandmothers being able to go out to the market or visit to the neighbor is being well now our grandmothers they are uh, always sitting inside our home watching tv watching movies or doing some of the other thing right but their health because their uh, body jo hai the functions do have when when our age is increasing the body functions do have that also slows down uh, slowly and steadily as an age goes on and when it comes to grandmother grandmother might be 60 to 70 years of age right so whenever they go out always they are sitting inside the inside the house right so if they are able to go out to the market if they are able to go to the neighbors then for them it is been well and not been able to do such thing is a poor health for them if they are not able to stand up if they are not able to go out and take a walk if they are not able to go and meet their neighbors then for them they think like that this is the poor health that i'm having now this is because of their age okay 
now being interested in following the teaching in the classroom so that we can understand the world is a healthy attitude okay now if you are interested in teaching and that too in the classroom why are you why you want to teach because you you want to understand the world then this kind of attitude this kind of thought when you have in your mind we call such kind of thoughts as an healthy attitude while not being interested is called the opposite okay that is an unhealthy attitude for you you should always be ready for uh, knowing the world for understanding the world and if you are not having that interest in yourself then you have an unhealthy attitude okay so health is therefore a state of well being to function well physically mentally and socially so merely you cannot decide if you are not having any disease you cannot call yourself an healthy individual health is something where you are going to have a state of being like you will be a uh, well state of being well but this being well should be with respect to like you are well enough to perform the functions well physically also mentally also and socially also okay but now because of so many problems that we have so many problems that we are facing sometimes we are mentally disturbed right we are uh, doing something we are thinking about something so that that is not we can call as an healthy individual okay you should be fu functioning properly well with physically be mentally be and socially be okay so i want you all to take this last statement in your notebook health is a state of being well been well enough to perform well physically mentally and socially come on just take the definition for that okay so you should be knowing the definition of this health that it is a state of being well so that we can function well physically mentally and socially as well now the second topic that comes under this health and its failure is personal and community issue both matters for health what did i just said that personal as well as community issue both matters for health so see if health means a state of physical mental and social well being it cannot be something that each one of us can achieve entirely on our own right because i told you that health means you are functioning well physically mentally as well as socially so if you have to function well socially then there are people or group of people who are involved here right so we cannot perform this function uh, alone right we cannot achieve this complete state of health alone because it doesn't entirely depend on us right so the health of all organism will depend on their surrounding or their environment okay what did i just said health of all the organism each and every organism that is existing in a population the health of all the organism is going to depend upon the surrounding where they are living it depends upon the surrounding or the environment where do where do they live now what does this environment have environment includes the physical environment where we are living in if our environment is not good it is uh, obvious right if i am living in an environment where there are frequent natural disasters which are taking place where there are frequent diseases which are spreading it means i am not living in a healthy environment right so for example health is at risk in a cyclone in many ways if there is a cyclone in in your environment where you are living then their health is at a great risk right so human beings we human beings are living in a society and our social environment therefore becomes an important factor in our individual health now you might have seen in movies 
if the if the hero is drinking well or uh, not well if the hero is drinking too much okay and he is uh, taking drugs and all he is drinking and coming in the society so what the society decides at the end the society tells that hero you will have to leave uh, you will have to leave this apartment or you will have to leave this space because our children are growing up and we don't want our children to live in such an environment where they see such kind of people right behaving such uh, such guy such having such a behavior right so the so the society is also a society also have a part like they also have a role with respect to our health so when we all human beings we are living in a society right so our social environment it becomes a very important factor whenever it comes to an individual health then when the people who are living in villages towns or cities in such places you will see that the physical environment is also decided by the social environment itself so your the physical environment is directly or indirectly is being connected with the social environment for the people who are living in villages towns and cities so can we consider like consider like what will happen if there is no agen- agency who is ensuring that the garbage is collected and disposed now many a times it happens in villages where there is no agency there is no municipalities there is no nothing or there is no bmc who are looking after this garbage so just imagine all the people they are just throwing their garbage because they cannot keep that inside their house right so what are they doing is they are just throwing that garbage anyway now what is going to happen on that garbage you will see that there are many different uh, organisms which are bacteria viruses they are going to grow and if the garbage is not collected by any of the agencies in that area the garbage will get collected there will be a bad odor a bad smell which will be coming from that right bad odor bad smell ke sath mein hi you will see you will notice that uh, bad smell to tha hi but you will also notice that because the bacteria viruses they are spreading and you will see that the people in that area they will always be ill they will always uh, be struggling with their health okay because the garbage is not collected only and if it has been collected and suppose there is an agency who is collecting the garbage from a particular place and they are going and throwing that into a, another area where people are living so they are not disposing it properly right so it is not like that collection is only important after collecting the agency need to dispose of that garbage well okay they cannot throw it here and there there is a proper place which the government has where the garbage has been disposed okay so whatever agency they uh, like is playing a role with respect to this collecting the waste or the garbage and then disposing is very much important okay so if they are not taking care of it then the health is again going to get affected right so take see what will happen if no one takes the responsibility for clearing the drains and ensuring that water does not collect in the street or open spaces now everyone is enjoying their own life everyone is having responsibilities everyone is having some or the other thing to do right we all are doing some or the other thing for our living for our survival right and here what happens we every one of us is busy with in our own life struggling a lot and we are struggling everyone is struggling we are aware of this right so see what happens no one is taking the responsibilities that whatever drains are there on the road or uh, on on the streets the drains are not getting cleared no one is there like having a look there whether the drains are getting cleared or not they are not having a look whether the water is not getting collected now in rainy season if you see mostly the water gets collected right in the street or the open spaces and this should not happen because i have already told you if there is a water stagnant or water is being collected in an open place what is going to happen mosquitoes are going to lay their eggs there and the number of mosquitoes will gradually increase now if the mosquito ka number are increasing in number okay what is going to happen malaria dengue and uh, people you will see that people are suffering from fever and all so they will be getting the symptoms of malaria and dengue so ensuring that the water is not getting collected anywhere on the street or open places is also very important 
so if the if there is a great deal of garbage which is thrown on our streets or if there is open drain water which is lying there uh, stagnant around where we are living the possibility of the poor health increases because you will always see that everyone in your house everyone in your neighborhood they will be ill they will be having some of the other symptoms they will be having fever body pain and what not things okay so whenever you see that the gar- the people living in an area where the garbage has been collected and has been, and is not been collected for weeks then those people have a poor health okay the chances increases as well for this okay if there is a water which is being collected on an open space or in the street you will see that there also the possibility of poor health increases right therefore public cleanliness is important for individual health what is important public cleanliness is very much important for maintaining our individual health and for this we need food to be healthy now whatever food that we are eating that should also be healthy right and you know what when we eat the food from outside source they don't maintain such an hygienic condition okay and that is why many or times when you eat outside you you will have loose motions you will have fever you will have stomach ache right this all things happens why because the food which you have eaten was not healthy it had some of the other kind of bacteria or uh, you can say harmful fungi within it because of which now you are getting such symptoms so public cleanliness is very much important it is not like that ki nahi baba i am healthy whatsoever my environment is it is dirty i don't care if the water is uh, stagnant there where i am living then i cannot do anything i am healthy uh, i am keeping myself clean no that is not going to help you if we are keeping ourselves clean and the surrounding and the surrounding where we are living that surrounding is not clean then it is going to gradually affect our health our health is definitely going to get affected so it is not that we just have to look on our personal health or personal hygiene we also need to have a look that the place there we are, that uh, the place wherever we are living that should also be clean okay and whatever food that we are eating should be healthy and this food will have to be earned by doing work so from where are we getting the food that we are eating by earning something by because we are working because we are earning and from the earnings that we are having we are purchasing the good food and we are eating it right so for this the opportunity to the work has to be available now for earning the thing so that you can have the food there should be opportunities in the market which should be available if there is no opportunity in the market how are we going to earn and how are we going to eat this food right so we need to be happy in order to be truly healthy if i want to be truly healthy what i what do i need to have i need to be very much happy because when i'm happy the hormones which are present in my body they are going to perform well and i'm going to be truly healthy in that that case and if we mistreat each other and are afraid of each other we cannot be happy or healthy so if we are not treating each other well if we are afraid of each other that i am very much afraid of you you are very much afraid of me then i add such conditions what happens you will neither you will be happy neither i will be happy nor i will be healthy neither you will be healthy so it is very much important that we have a true environment where wherever we are living okay so if only you are having this true happy environment okay it means you will be healthy Sake. so it is not like it is not only about the personal hygiene okay if you want to be healthy your you should be personally hygiene but as well as the environment there uh, wherever you are living that should be hygiene as well okay now see social equality and harmony are there harmony are therefore necessary for individual health okay now you might have seen in many movies i don't know in reality if you have seen this i haven't seen this but if you have seen this then you might relate to it and if you have seen that in movie wahan pe aapne dekha hoga that there is so much of social uh, inequality where people say that this place will be used by this group of community and this place which is not so well developed it will be used by this community people so your like what what are we doing social inequalities uh, is one of the main uh, you can say reason 
why the people are not able to have a healthy environment because they are being mistreated every time right so which will not happen social equality as well as harmony these are the two important and necessary these are very much important and necessary for each and every individual okay so we can think of many other such examples of connections which is existing between the community issue and the health issue so see we have this pi f's what is to be done first is fluid second is finger third is flies fourth is spilled and fifth is flat okay these are the five f's which you need to take a note on now see fluids mein kya hai fecal matter okay fecal matter is the waste product that we are excreting out of our body so fecal matter if it comes in fluid so we need to protect the water source that the fecal matter should not come and mix with the fluid that we are eating and we need to treat the water that we are eating as well as we have to store that water drinking water safely okay so the first one is fluid we should see to it that the fecal matter should not get mixed with the fluid we need to protect the water source as well as we need to treat and store the water safely then the second one that we have is fingers now whenever uh, you are preparing any kind of food you need to wash your hands before preparing and taking the food as well before eating the food you need to wash your hands properly so that all the bacteria which you have in your hand you are not taking it inside you okay so washing your hands are is very much important for before preparing the food as well as before taking in the food okay and wash hands after defecation so wash hand after using the toilet that is what that is very much important because if you are not washing your hands properly then that is going to have another uh, you can say side effect on you the bacteria will enter your body and you will feel feel uh, ill okay then the third f that we have is flies so we need to cover the food that we are making because what happens is the fly the flies they have set on the fecal matter now from this fecal matter the flies are going to come and sit on the food that you have made so what you have to do you have to keep your food covered always okay and you have to control the flies we all are aware of we have pest control which is available in the market right so pest control is one of the solution which can be done so that we, we can control this flies okay then fields now we get this uh, fruits and vegetables from the agricultural field right and you know in villages people still don't have toilets right so what do they do they go to that uh, agricultural field only for uh, like that is the toilet itself right so whenever we are getting the fruits and vegetables from the market we need to wash that properly we have to clean the vegetables and the fruits before using them and avoid open defecation now in cities we don't have like we have toilets in each and every house right but in uh, villages still this is not the case so in villages we need to build more and more toilets so that uh, this people who are living in this village areas they can avoid this open defecations okay and last one is the flood so we need to have a proper drainage system as well as treatment of the water now h is hygiene and s is sanitization so you might you might have seen h and s which has been written everywhere the five s that we have discussed so h stands for hygiene and s stands for sanitization and this is how we are going to prevent the transmission of disease by maintaining sanitization and hygiene okay because we are the ones who need to prevent this transmission because we are the one who is causing it so it is very much important okay it is very much important that we are having it uh, and how we can prevent this transmission of disease by maintaining sanitization as well as by maintaining a hygienic condition now in the next part we are going to start with distinction between healthy and disease free because this terms are uh, commonly used disease free and healthy okay and the meanings are same but still we will see there are some of the distinctions which exist between being healthy and being disease free okay after that we will be discussing about the disease and what are its causes so in this topic disease and its causes firstly we are going to discuss on what does disease look like okay then we will be discussing on acute and chronic diseases so you will be coming to know and if possible 
I will be giving you a differentiating table as well between acute diseases and chronic diseases. After that, we are going to discuss on chronic diseases and poor health. So whenever any of the individual is suffering from any of the chronic disease, that is going to lead to the poor health of that individual. Okay. After that, we will be discussing on different causes of the disease because this is one of the most important thing you should know why the disease is occurring, what is the cause of the disease, okay? After that, we will be discussing about the infectious and non-infectious causes, okay? So, we have some infectious disease and we have non-infectious disease as well, but here, firstly, we are going to discuss on what are the causes of infectious diseases and non-infectious diseases, okay? After that, we will be discussing about the infectious agent in detail, okay? So, these are some of the pictures which have been given. And then we will be discussing on the means of spread, means how this infectious and non-infectious disease are spreading is also very important. You should know what are they and you should know how are they spreading and what is the cause of the spread. Okay, then only we can treat that. Okay, then, at the, uh, then after discussing how they are spreading, we are going to discuss on organ specific and tissue specific manifestations. What are we going to discuss on? Organ specific and tissue specific manifestations and then what are the principles of the treatment now if the diseases are occurring you should know the principles of treatment as well and the principle of prevention as well so this prevention of treatment and sorry principle of treatment and principle of prevention this both the principles are very much important so when i discuss on just keep a note that you are understanding it well okay after that, we will be discussing on immunization, which is a very important part in keeping ourselves healthy. Because if our immunity is strong, we are healthy. If our immunity is weak, we are going to suffer from different diseases, okay? And then after discussing about immunization in detail, we will be having, we will be discussing a short summary on this whole lesson. What, why do we fall ill? Okay, so this is a short summary that we will be discussing, like what you have learned from this whole lesson. Why do we fall ill? What are the reasons? How can we prevent uh, ourselves from falling ill? What are the causes? Why are we falling ill? How are the diseases spreading? What can we do to prevent them? What are the principles of prevention? What are the principles of treatment? Okay. So we are going to discuss on all these topics. Okay. And then we have exercise questions which we'll be discussing after we complete studying the lesson. So I'm showing you the questions one by one. I want you all to go through them, okay? Just go through them and whenever we are studying on this, you should uh, have a click in your mind that yes, I have this question in the exercise which we are going to discuss on. Okay. So you need to conduct a survey as well and I guess if you do this, you will enjoy it a lot.
प्लीज गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन ओके प्रॉपरली एंड वॉट आर द कंडीशन विच आर बिन गिवन नाउ दिस लेसन इज समथिंग वेर यू कैन राइट द आंसर्स ऑन योर बाई योर सेल्व एज वेल ओके सो प्लीज हैव अ लुक एंड जस्ट सी हाउ द थियोरीज आर बिन एक्सप्लेन टू योर सो दैट यू कैन राइट इट ऑन योर ओन ओके सो आई होप दैट वॉट एवर वी हैव डिस्कस टिल नाउ ऑन दिस लेसन वाई डू वी फॉल एल इज बिन क्लियर टू यू now the rest of the part for this lesson we will be continuing in the next part obviously but i hope that you are getting it what are we discussing on and how are the infections they are spreading you are you have got an idea like what are we going to discuss in this lesson because the main motto of my me when i start discussing on the lesson the first part itself i want you all to catch what all things are we going to study in the lesson because it is the first when we start discussing on something for the first time we get a clear picture and that is where we decide that you will be able to do it or not because i know that most of the students they decide by that only and that is why see to it that the first part is such that you feel like yes i can do it and this is the most easiest part or easiest lesson that i have in science okay so keep growing we will be continuing the next part for this lesson why do we fall ill in the next part Thank you everyone